Hello everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Surviving the Aftermath. In the last video, a lightning strike burned down my movie theater. My brand new movie theater, and it got burned down. But, I've got a bunch of toilets now set up around my mess hall to make it a little bit easier for folks to get themselves cleaned up. There's not a lot of toilets out in this area. I think the other next closest area is way up here, so having some more access is pretty nice. Also built a bunch of storages, because we're kind of needing storehouses for everything at the moment. Um, so want to make sure that we have a lot of those materials available and also having it at this part of the colony. I think this part of the colony is going to be where the Doomsday Bunker eventually gets built. But I do, I did also unlock the Storm Dome, which is freaking huge, by the way. So that's not going to get built right away. Maybe I build it over here or build a dedicated area for it. But I also, I'm thinking about building a, a nice little sauna right here. It causes pollution. Oh, wow, that's not that's not nearly as big as I thought it was going to be. That's what she said. I'm going to put that right there. Actually, hang on. How big is the movie theater next to it? Because my evil plan... Oh, evil Steve. You poor, poor bastard. All right, nope, that's not going to happen. I'm going to cancel that. We have our large transform back here, which is now generating power to this... Electronics factory. We're going to start building more components out here as well and eventually start expanding out here too because we have concrete. We have metal, we have metal, we have concrete, we have plastic trash and just straight plastic trash. Um, you're an advanced scrapper. What is your current work area? You're up here? You also have a task that needs my attention. Back here, but there's a lot of pollution that they have to go through. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear you all out. Specialist ready for assignment. This is a problem. This thing is super beefy. Are you healed up? Yeah, you are. Cool. Get in the car. What's up? You will need two cycles in yep. there. You will need two Let's cycles in there. I'm going to send her in first because she was technically waiting. Go all the way over here and yeah this is going to take a like these specialists are just standing around with their thumbs up their butts because i don't know what to do with them at the moment Grot has arrived at her next site all right. i'm gonna go ahead and scan that out we got a few sectors left to scan but a lot of specialists up here aren't going to be doing much right now because i don't have much for them to do right now in addition something that is on my mind significantly is maintenance. Note there, I've got some gaps in the field, some big gaps in the field. So some maintenance depots are going to be needed. We're at 6,000, so we got a surplus there. I'm going to start building things out. I, I do not have homelessness. That is an absolute lie by this game. I have 267 homes. I have my back neighborhood and also my front neighborhood. This area is a subdivision, essentially. Um, but there's plenty of houses. This, this, house, this house is empty. So let's start this task and clear out these shanties. The local bandit group Rippers are violent, but disorganized. And they have scattered into small subgroups across the wasteland. Okay, I think I have something for my uh, folks to do in the meantime, but yeah, we're going to demo all of this. That's not going to, I mean, I will have some issues with housing, but it's time to kind of get this all built up and kind of redevelop this area as well. Let's see where these folks are, these rippers. They're all pretty close to the colony. Given that this group is staged for an attack on the tribunal camp, and then probably this wolf's gang layer, and then this deadly tri uh, this tribunal, these three areas I think need to get cleared first. But I'm actually going to do this with a purpose. Yes. Roger. I'm gonna have him scan that out. It's gonna take him what two cycles? Hey, no, it's going to take one cycle. Perfect. That'll allow Roberts to arrive on site, and then 
all four of them to engage the tribunal camp. Zarya will heal up in the meantime. Ah, ha, 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 ha. All righty then. Transport station. Boom. And we've got resources heading it back. All right. We have Sigin? She believes there was something divine behind the event. A reason why humanity had to be struck down and made humble again. Um, their abilities are quite poor, but I need a settler. Hi, settler. Let's go. Uh -huh. Let's send you off to do something. All right. Fun boxes are a desperate need for us, so let's find a spot where there's some fun boxes that can be had. I know up here's got one. No, wait. Okay, crap. I need fun boxes. Okay. But... But... This sector has two things she can get her hand on. So I'm going to set out that way. And in seven cycles, she'll be able to get the motel and the ordinance works going for me. Um, I've got a ton of rare metals, which is good. And a lot of protective clothing. Well, I have three, so I have some protective clothing. Let's be honest. Could do my upgrade to the Grand Tailor. Yeah, let's do let's do some upgrades on buildings too. Um, this is going to be the Grand Tool Shop. You're also going to be my Grand Tailor, and another Grand Tool Shop. I don't have the upgrade unlocked for the Gunsmith, but I'm totally fine producing hunting rifles because that's exactly what I need. Can't have any upgrades there. The advanced scrapper is offline. Advanced scrapper. I'm just going to get you guys back into being runners for the moment. Maintenance depots. Let's cycle back on that idea. Concrete rubble's not that great. And any plans I have in this area runs into I have to have space for my lightning rods. Battery stacking is almost done, and that's also going to run into that problem because I want to build the large battery packs. I want to have more uh, battery capacity for the next time there's a disaster. Note that I didn't say when there's, if there's a disaster. I said the next time because there's always going to be disasters. It's New Texas. Let's speed this up just uh, a scotch. We've made a new discovery. Boom! Battery stacking. Large battery rack, six thousand. They are the same footprint, that's helpful, as a wind turbine. Oh man, it's making my job easy. So put that one there. And then I'm going to build the road out this way. I apparently took out the road at some point. There we go. Make sure it's teed up. Yep, I got perfect T intersection. Love it. Now, from here, a maintenance depot. Oh my god, do you actually fit? You actually fit. Oh, bless you, road. This is going to be the best maintained area on the planet. But if I put all of them in one spot, Lelegzo, then I can kind of arrange them out. Be able to have these things. This is great though. We can have extra battery packs, extra wind power, and the maintenance depots, once constructed, they can start maintaining the buildings around the colony and I can get a good setup done. I like it. Turbine, what'd you find? Job done. Ooh. Oh my. Alright. All right. Is done up here. What'd you find? Ooh, hey, some electronics. That's helpful. And some fuel. Nice. Alright. But before she does that. I'm gonna run it all the way up here. I'm not worried about the science at the military camp. Yes. Pop on out. Scout that, please. Oh, okay, it's it's a research outpost, but I've got a lot of research my way, yes. so I'm not too worried about that. Okay. You have 12 hours left. I'll let you keep doing your thing. All right, this is gonna be quite dangerous, and some of you may die. So that is a risk I'm willing to take. Okay, cool. Now we massively have the advantage 
and in two cycles we'll have that sector cleared out. Excellent stuff. All right, got plenty of food being cultivated. I do want to build, admittedly, another mess hall. It'd be kind of helpful to get more mess halls up and running, especially with all the food that I have. A lot of raw food, but it's not being put to great use. Right, you're my trip. Excuse me, my trading depot. I wish I could move my brawl pit, but I'm going to do that. Just kind of start working on clearing this area out, even taking out the school, too. That's going to upset folks. I know that. How many kids do I have? I have 26 kids, so I actually do need one more school. Well, technically two, but shh. And if I remember where the hell schools go in this game, I can put one in, I can put one down. I guess it's not. No, nah, not a. Oh, yeah, it is a health thing. Make sure I don't put this on top of the road. There we go. We'll put one there. So now we've got two that are relatively close by, but at the same time, I want to make sure that this area gets cleared out and I can do something with it. This trapper. Not gonna lie, he's still doing stuff. And I love that he is. Okay, let's do that there. And clear out these roads. And now I've got a nice little spot up front where I can do something. But what? Could put the dunk could put the bunker up here. That that's uh that's actually a possibility. Um, efficient heating would actually make the make those things a little bit easier to work with. I mean, I'm not going to lie, that's going to be helpful as hell. What are we waiting on? We're just waiting on materials. Yep. Really? Really? Oh, I have a shanty back here. I totally missed I had shanties back in this area. They are being repaired. That's nice. Um, you are being decontaminated. That's good. Ooh. I saw that guy take a shock. Thank you. Oh, yeah. And this guy needs an upgrade. Thank you for reminding me, game. Increasing the radius that it's going to be protecting. Very helpful stuff. And now the first maintenance depots are yes. coming online. That's nice. And yeah, wow, we're actually, uh, we are just moving things along, aren't we? All right, just checking in on this, 16 hours. That was an accidental zoom out, speed of time. And wow, somebody, Riley just died while working on that thing. That's, that's not good. All right. All right, these buildings are done up. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put the maintenance area out to here for that one. Oh yeah, that's right, you can zoom them out. I always forget that with the maintenance areas. I'm actually going to put this over the houses out here. There we go. Big and, yeah, really inefficient, but in my defense, it's my game. Move work area, and I will actually call on colonists from that survivor camp near me. Five zero and two. We're gonna go ahead and take those survivors in. Rot is done. Yeah, we're gonna grab this guy. Head back down here. 
I actually forgot there was another sector there, so we're going to scan out that one. I think this is going to be it. Checking the map. Got some sectors in the northwest that we still need to clear. I think that's the last sector. Hot damn. I managed to scout the entire map, and it's only day 112. Nice. All right, so we got that there. I'm absolutely going to start employing everybody in the maintenance depots. We do, we're going to have less carriers, such as life. However, that's also meaning that we've got everybody working. So I've got that going for me. I can do upgrades to auto extractors eventually, and I do think that plastics should be the next auto extractor, if I'm honest. 90 parts. Nope. And 40 electronics, of which I have 7. So I think another electronics factory is going to be needed relatively soon just to build that. So let's schedule it up. Knowing that I don't have the parts, I don't have the components for it. This is more, let's get the metal, let's get the concrete in place and then get this guy built up. Because up? this battery pack being available, really helpful. Another mess hall in the meantime would be very nice. This shanty's gonna come down, by the way. It's a tailor. Can we upgrade you to a grand tailor? Yep, we're gonna. Wow, so much stuff in the headquarters, too. Insufficient materials for the electronics factory? That's okay. I want you to make, bring the stuff you do have. Your command? Okay, good. This is being built, and I want it to be built. <laughs> Alright, cool. We now have, oh my god, this whole 6,000? Another large turbine seems appropriate. And you can actually upgrade this guy, by the way. You can upgrade him to a large transformer if you have the components for it, which I don't. Which, why the hell am I starting that project? Because I don't have the components for it. It's all here. Need to make sure that the electronics factory gets done up to make the electronics that we need. Speed up time and finish up that combat. Oh, you're you're available. What's up? Okay. Reporting in. My pleasure. Sweet. Take advantage of the time in the game to heal up just that little bit faster. All right, bunch of stuff was done at the same time. New vehicle found. A. What are you? An abandoned off-roader. Nice. Okay. All right. Go ahead, start scavenging that stuff. We won the 195 coin. Rare metals. Got some, let's see, manufacturing. So can you go there? On it. And finish getting in there, please? Okay. 52 health, 76 health, 82 health. They could probably do work on that one. However, I also have a lot of cars here. <laughs> Freaking, oh, this is, a, this is a mess. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Bring them, bring the car over to here. Load them up. Uh -huh. Load them up. Bring them both over to here. Shoot. Uh -huh. Get into that car. Shoot. Uh -huh. Get them into that car. Come back over to here now with it. Both vehicles. Bring them all back. And now I can heal up everybody. Zari and Scrappa can grab a vehicle and Lancaster when, the, when these cars arrive. The sedan we'll grab in this case. This one's almost, you know, this one's going to be losing health very quickly. But we can use these folks to go get healed in the meantime. Robert will hang out here. He's got 66 health. And he'll go ahead 
clear that out and probably start walking back on his own. That or he'll head over to the auto mechanic and the collapsed apartments. Those two he could probably clear out on his own. Nice. So we got our maintenance done up. We got electronics done up. We got our large battery pack done up. I have nothing being researched. No, wait. I have efficient heating being researched. Never mind. I'm just going to go ahead and let the game go for a minute. Still don't have enough fun boxes to rebuild the movie theater. However, I do have enough to build a botanical garden. That won't do much with the happiness, because the happiness is a big-ass problem for me. I'm just going to prep the movie theater. And just pause immediately. Not going to actually build it. The Botanical Garden fit in here? No, it can't. I mean, it can. You just have to, like, rip out the road. We've made a new discovery. Right. Efficient heating is done, meaning these burners will now take less energy to be done up. Infrastructure. We have the submerged pumping, which is just water pumps. Plus 40 water. Ooh. Okay. Submerged pumping will allow me to do irrigated fields. I'll say that. Um, energy consumption of greenhouses. Not doing that. Delicacies. Let's actually... I need cows for that. Okay. Delicacies is like very, very high is like what I can do next. There's biofuel there. I don't want to spend the 75 on this one. I really don't. I don't have to do tarps. There's not... Oh, libraries. And cabinets. Cabinets are the game arcades. Let's do knowledge preservation first. I don't have nearly enough materials for a medical lab. So we'll queue up the steam rooms after that. That should keep me going research-wise for a while. This is just here. I'm not going to build it. I don't even have the fun boxes for it. I think the botanical garden actually may be the way to go. And this facility just needs a bunch of parts and a bunch of... That's, I'm wondering if more parts factories, more mechanic shops are going to be needed. Because the amount of junk I have is obscene. Hmm. Get those vehicles together. Ah, survivors have arrived. A ragged bunch shuffled slowly. Wheat, metal, I'll take them. You get stupid, you're gonna go down real quick. Okay, they're going straight to the field hospital, it looks like. Yep, perfect. We'll get them treated in the hospital, and then we can get them back and working. Specialists are available. Mission complete. Got some of that. Let's go ahead and make your way over to here. It'll take you a few cycles to arrive. Alright. Yes. Hop on out. Hop on in. How may I help you? Of course. He's gonna get patched up. You know, this car doesn't have a lot of actually we're gonna do this first. The car is now empty and everything that's on board huh? is gonna be moved out. That was kind of the big thing with the vehicles, is to get them back to the transit hub and to get them to do things. So you're going to move, you're going to take one cycle to heal there, then we'll go to the car, pop over. This vehicle's got such low health, I'm actually thinking about having it return to the colony, and that'll take six cycles. It's going to take a lot of folks out of commission, but getting the vehicle fixed up, that may just be the way to go with it. And speaking of the way to go with it, let's go back up to here and get these vehicles prepped and ready to go. We can repair a lot of these vehicles. Yeah, we've got tons of fuel. 
we can repair a lot of these vehicles in the meantime. And I'm gonna actually turn on all of my power product or power consuming buildings. Give me a true idea of how much power I actually have, which isn't much. So when this electronics factory goes online, I will be running with a deficit. Bad. However, knowing this, I should be able to do a little better. Yeah, don't want to do the upgrade on that guy because I don't have the electronics for it. This guy is, wow, full of wood. I'll let you, wait a minute. What do I have here hiding under my desk? It's a building full of wood. I did it. There you go. Alright. Speed up time. There's still the big question of what goes here. The storm dome can go here. I can actually put it right by my headquarters. About the, about the size of my headquarters, to be honest. Hang on. Hang on. What if I did put the Storm Dome right up front? Welcome to New Texas. On your left, you'll find... On your right, you'll see a sauna and a nice guard tower to protect us from evil folks who try to get in the door. And on the left, there's our Storm Dome. Let's build the Storm Dome here. I love the idea of putting the Storm Dome here. Granted, I think it'd be cool to have it back here, but... Back here, we're going to have our neighborhood. We got our school. Ten unhappy colonists are wanting to leave. Bye. I have 212. Now, a lot of materials will arrive on site. Obviously, the... Well, how many fun boxes? Wow, I have half the fun boxes I need, actually. We're still producing concrete at a decent clip. That's kind of a big thing. Another reason that it does make sense to bring those uh, specialists back. One, the car no longer, the car is dead. Like, it's not going to make it that much further. What's up? Empty it out, and then kind of turn it around, and then these two can head on out to where Roberts is, and they can take on Wolf's Gang Lair. All done. Sweet. Electronics. Okay. How much health does the car have? Zero. Yes. All right. Moving. car's going to stay there. We're just going to gather what we can up out here. We're going to ignore the Wolf Gang pack. We've got some areas we got to clear out over here. There's more electronics. I think... Wow, a lot of electronics out here, actually. We're going to grab all of it, bring it back to the colony. Meanwhile, we got our combat force. They'll come out this way. They'll clear that up. And then Zari, Scrappa, and Lancaster will do the ripping and tearing. They'll actually go and go one, two, three, clear them out super quick. And that one. All right. Got, I'm amazed I actually have 48 of the, uh, the fun boxes. How much does one need? 65? Yeah, but I don't have the components for it. Someone just needs, like, raw materials. Yes. Mara, come back and build, please. I'm gonna get this electronics factory up and running, which, a bit of a surprise, is gonna happen right now. This concrete... I'm gonna leave this concrete deposit as is, obviously, because I've got this thing going in on top of it. But... Neither of them are that great, if I'm honest. Got a metal deposit here, but these... Where's that metal deposit? It was, like, stupidly good. It was back here, wasn't it? Like, here. No. Here? Wow, two good deposits. I do have a concrete uh, scavenging team out this way. They're not hooked up to a road network, mind you. So let's actually get that network going. Oops. I just have a little road segment out there on its own. I'm gonna get the, uh... Yeah, that area's almost done. Let's move... Your work area. Whoa, that was weird. Yeah, we build out this way. 
And I'm also going to upgrade this guy to... Nope, nope. I can't upgrade to a sawmill. So close to upgrading myself to a sawmill there. Yep. Yep. This electronics factory is almost done. And we're going to be in a good, good spot so we can start building electronics natively. Now we do see our deficit on power. See, if I up here, that's a large transformer. Which, let's just go ahead and do that. And also prioritize you. It says that these aren't hooked up. Which, again, it's not making sense. I mean, this is full Chewbacca defense right now. That's done up, but we're going to select our recipe, and we're going to go from uh, electronics. Ah, shit. Okay. We're going to make more components, because it really seems like the only way to get <laughs> where I need to be with this is to just have a shit ton of components and a shit ton of parts. Um, this deposit's pretty poor, so... I guess I'm just going to make another mechanic shop. That's out of the range of this thing. As they say, le crap. We have bandits at the gate. Seriously? We're doing this? A group bandit snuck up on the colony? And how, how close is that team to returning? Five cycles. We're on our own. We've made a new discovery. I wanted to get a couple of things done up before this happened. Uh huh. A group of bandits have appeared at the gate, seemingly out of thin air. Skill several skillfully camouflaged and well armed individuals are ready to charge and wreak havoc on the colony. Taking them down will be hard, but not impossible. One of them approaches the gate. This is your first and last chance. Give up the goods, or we will attack. The leader grins ominously, egged on by the colony's defiant attitude. She raises her weapon in the unison. The bandits open fire on the gate and its defenders. Yeah, they've already lost three of them. Well, apparently camouflage doesn't really work in this case, because you're all dead. Especially that one. They're definitely dead. I have to work out for you. Two clothing and 145 coin. I'll take that. That was easy. Okay. So yep. she's ready to go. Ready. Consider it done. Now this vehicle has the abandoned offroader actually has four spots in it. So we're actually going to use the abandoned off-roader. It's going to be able to get him a little further and do a little more. Roberts has arrived here. It's going to take him three cycles to clear that out. Barat is... looks like three cycles from clearing that out. And then these folks are... How, how, how far? Your orders. Can't complete the order. They're four cycles from returning, so most of our specialists are not going to be available for a little bit. That's okay. Um, this is being built. And um, what are we end up picking up? The library. What? 65 fun boxes for a library, too? Wow, that's a big-ass library. Hmm. I'm going to put that there, too. 65, eh? Mmm. My storm dome. Must be heated during winter storms. Interesting. Well, I know it's here. I know it's going to fit there. So we'll go ahead and keep that as is. 
Once this transformer is upgraded, pause you. Keep you as priority. We're gonna build this up, see if we can make sure we get everything squared into the grid right now. You know, it looks like we have an equilibrium at the moment on power, and I don't like that. I like having some excess, I like being able to put some extras in the batteries, especially when you have a battery that can do, oh wait. So with these two not connected, it's actually not showing. It doesn't show this battery, these two batteries in the grid. It only shows this one and this one. It says 4,000. These are, this is 6,000 on its own. This is another 2,000. Your orders. Build this thing. Let's go. We'll build this thing up and then we'll wrap the video. Specialist healed. I need you to get in the car. So it's going to take five cycles to arrive. That's okay. Once the vehicle arrives, we'll be able to start gathering stuff. Uh -huh. Settler has arrived on site to build a scavenging outpost. Right away. Almost forgot about them. Kind of did forget about them. But I think, keyword, we're in a position where a winter storm is upon us. Shit. All right. All right, now we have a balance of minus 12, which I think is because these two got hooked in. I actually think that's what happened here. So we'll go ahead, we're gonna resume construction on him. And the next winter storm, we have two days now, thanks to our handy dandy radar. Let's take a look at what our heat production is at the moment. This hospital is not in a heated area. I point that out. This is not in a heated area. And now the heated two story houses do take components, so. Industrial radiators. Oops. We build one there. That'll heat this entire area. One industrial radiator over here will do the exact same. I'm going for the radiators, mind you, because they're the boosted burners. Don't get me wrong. It's a low-tech option. And it's also a good option, so let's actually do a booster burner here, too. The booster burner will go in for this one, and then in a second, when the next uh, winter storm hits, we'll put radiators down, just because we don't have the power capacity, to, we don't have the power generation capacity yet to do all this stuff. I'm actually going to turn this guy offline. Much as I need him. Pause production on that too. I'm gonna try to get some extra power into the grid while I can. But we have 195 firewood. Dust to dust. A native colonist died of old age on day 114. Alright. Maybe a title for the video. I don't know. But I do know I should put a cut in here. But now, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching. Next video, we're going to deal with this next winter storm and probably get our specialists, once they return to the colony, out to take out the bandits. Thanks for watching.